At an unspecified future date, significant advances in biotechnology led to the invention of machines and computers that can directly interface with and control bodily functions, which have become the norm. Simultaneously, humankind itself has experienced several biological changes of indeterminate origin. Most significant among these changes is the disappearance of physical pain and infectious disease for an overwhelming majority, allowing for surgery to be safely performed on conscious people in ordinary settings. But other humans experience more radical alterations to their physiology. One of them, an eight-year-old boy named Brecken, displays the innate ability to consume and digest plastics as food. Convinced that he is inhuman, Brecken's mother smothers him with a pillow, leaving his corpse to be found by her ex-husband, Lang. Saul Tenser and Caprice are a world-renowned performance artist couple. They take advantage of Tenser's accelerated evolution syndrome, a disorder that forces his body to constantly develop new organs by surgically removing them before a live audience. The syndrome leaves Tenser in constant pain and with severe respiratory and digestive discomfort. He is consequently reliant on several specialized biomechanical devices, including a bed, a machine through which Caprice performs surgery on him, and a chair that twitches and rotates as it assists him with eating. Tenser and Caprice meet with bureaucrats in charge of the National Organ Registry, a governmental office designed to uphold the state's restrictions on human evolution by cataloging and storing newly evolved organs. One of the bureaucrats, the nervy Timlin, becomes captivated by Tenser's artistic goals. At a successful show of Tenser's, she tells him that surgery is the new sex, a sentiment that Tenser and many other characters appear to embrace as repetitive cutting seems to be replacing traditional sex and masturbation as the preferred means of sexual gratification. A governmental police unit seeks to use Tensor to infiltrate a group of radical evolutionists. Without telling Caprice, Tensor meets a series of contacts through other biological performance art shows that lead him to the evolutionist's cell. One of them, former cosmetic surgeon Nazatir, creates a zippered cavern in Tensor's stomach, which Caprice uses to access Tensor's organs in an oral sex act where she fellates his zipper wound and presumably his internal organs, while he moans in erotic pleasure. Caprice continues to network with other performance artists, eventually choosing to receive decorative cosmetic surgery on her forehead. Tensor meets with Timlin, who reveals to him the agenda of the evolutionists. They have chosen to modify their digestive system to make them able to eat plastics and other synthetic chemicals. Their principal food is a purple processed candy bar of toxic waste, fatally poisonous to others. Lang is the leader of the cell. His son Brecken had been born with the ability to eat plastic, proving the inaccuracy of the government's critical stance on human evolution. Timlin tries to initiate sex with Tensor, but he says he is not good at the old sex. Tensor is eventually approached by Lang, who wants Tensor and Caprice to reveal the cell's anti-government agenda through a public autopsy of Brecken that will highlight his evolved digestive system. After some deliberation, Tensor agrees. With Timlin, Lang, and many others watching, Tensor performs the autopsy, but it is revealed that Brecken's natural organ system has been surgically replaced. Lang flees the show in tears. Outside, he is approached by two agents who supposedly work for the corporation that manufactures Tensor's biomedical machines. Mimicking their earlier killing of Nasatir, they assassinate Lang by driving power drills into his head. Tensor's connection within the police unit admits that Timlin replaced Brecken's organs to keep the deviation in human evolution secret from the public. Saddened by Brecken and Lang's deaths, Tensor informs the police that he will no longer serve them. Approvingly mentioning the cell's beliefs on evolution, Tensor struggles to eat in his chair. He asks Caprice to give him a bar of plastic. As Caprice records him, he eats it, looks into Caprice's camera, and sheds a tear. His mouth twitches into a smile as the chair finally quiets. The end.